Guys up first early in the first quarter. Central PA using some quick ball movement here, finding Matthew Wysong for the open hoop, scoring under the open bucket. Blair County having a response. Bishop Guilfoyle's Jace Hedinger drains the shot from downtown as the men in blue go up by three. Blair County would extend the lead to seven, but Central PA took control from there. Caden Clark blows past the defender and scores. The Portage Senior finished with 22 points as Central PA runs away with this one. 136 to 97. Yeah, that's real. Not a typo there, folks. Now, the girls' side, that was the Marin Miller show. Buckle up, everyone. It was quite the performance. Blair County down by four with three minutes to go in the half, and Miller just knifes her way through four defenders for the bucket here. Minute later, it is Miller time draining this shot from downtown as Blair County takes the lead by one. And they let it have 46 to 43. Central PA comes out on fire in the second half. Bishop McCourt's Lexi Martin splits a pair of defenders and hits the floater. As Central PA takes the 85 to 67 lead, Martin led the team in the red with 23 points. But Miller didn't let that 18 point deficit phase Blair County. She forces the turnover and is off to the races. For the easy lay-in, Blair County goes on a 13-4 run. Blair County able to get into the deficit down just four after this crazy basket by Miller. But they ran out of time as Central PA takes the win in 94-90. Miller finished with a mirror classic record 33 points en route to the team MVP. It's a perfect ending. I couldn't imagine it ending any better. I had a lot of fun. I loved playing with these girls. And, you know, we were down by 15 at a point and lost by four. So I just really liked fighting for that game at the end. I like the competitiveness of playing against these local girls. So it was a great time. I was really excited.